Cross policy is reinforcement learning solutions to the clip blocking task. A deep, a deep Q network approach. Introduction. Uh, coming to reinforcement learning, the reinforcement learning is a mechanism and an algorithm where the agent learns by interacting with the environment and the agent receives the reward. Or if, uh, if the environment is correct or if the, uh, if the um, action proves out to be rewarding and uh, if it is uh, yeah, incorrect move, it is uh, it realizes the agent. Le learning the pa paradigm promoting desirable actions through the rewards. And uh, we discourage unfavorable actions with the with penalties. Agent seeks to maximize the cumulative uh, rewards of the optional solution. This is this is the trans. This is the uh, algorithm we use in the uh, reinforcement learning. Coming to the clip, coming to my problem, it is a cliff. It is cliff walking problem. Uh, and this is where they have to walk on a cliff, falling on either from the either side of the cliff and make it to the goal and uh, for this problem um, the challenge is to avoid falling on the cliff and we navigate through a grid like grid like based um, uh, blocks of, of size 12 cross 4 uh, represent here that this is represented by a dynamic cannon so this this is how a uh, cliff um, how, how the game is represented and, and uh, coming to the reinforcement uh, cliff, this coming to this problem, it is in the toy text gym environment. And uh, the cliff walking problem as a game, it then starts at the bottom left corner and aims to, uh, aim is to reach the starts at the bottom left corner and aims to reach to the top, uh, top right corner of the grid, uh, avoiding the fall. And uh, for this, as we there's a simplified version uh, of implementing this, we, we use env.render. I render to implement this small thing. Uh, it is a four plus twelve grid, which is four into twelve. And if the you if the agent falls off the cliff, if we penalize him, and if he makes it to the goal, we increment the reward. To the agent in interaction, the agent and has four actions. That is moving up, moving left, right, or or bottom down. And the observation space is twelve plus twelve plus three plus one potential states, excluding the a uh, cliff and the goal rewards and uh, coming to the reward the reward for each step is minus one if it is made as plus one or zero oh there, there's a chance that uh, the step in an infinite loop walking to and from just to increase the reward to reward to infinity by first to infinity so we make the reward as minus one penalty for falling off the cliff is minus 100 because this is that, that is a blunder which can be performed by the agent and coming to the objective, we, we are now going to develop the, a policy to minimize the to, total accumulated reward or, and uh, efficiently navigate from the starting position and, and um, reach to the goal. And, uh, and coming to the reward, the uh, reward for reaching the goal is plus 10. And, and balance between the, uh, we also employ, uh, employ balance between the exploration and uh, exploitation factor. We, we, have, we have imported this using the command gym uh, dot make cliff walking dash breezy deep learning and reinforcement learning and uh, f f uh, first to, uh, to start with deep learning we start with the uh, q learning algorithm q learning algorithm is um, is an algorithm where we use the state action pair and to represent each uh, uh, each associated state, state, uh, state with the with its pair uh, coming to the Q table, it uh, it is a it, uh, it depends on the size, the number of states and the sizes, as yes, and uh, if, the, if the number of states are way to way beyond the, uh, like for example there are ten thousand states and uh, like there are ten thousand actions, the Q table would be of um, of um, in very uh, of very large size. Therefore, we, we use uh, and and each value in the Q table is called Q value. Oh, and this becomes a very uh, computationally effective, uh, computationally expensive task to to complete if we use DQ learning, uh, just use Q learning. So instead, we move on to the DQ learning thing, and, and which is an extension of the uh, existing uh, uh, Q learning algorithm, which enables manual uh, high-dimensional state and spaces, action spaces. Uh, coming to the DQN algorithm, we 
uh, we we use we we use epsilon VD policy to balance the uh, balance the uh, exploration and exploitation factor. We take the maximum output of the uh, output of each state and uh, for for each action, and we use it we use it, we use it to update the queue table at at each point. And uh, like for, for example, we start with Q zero for all the states S and A. And these are the random, these are random initialized values, uh, randomly initialized values. And after each each time the uh, input is passed through the ne uh, network, the target net uh, the, um, the target network and the unit network, and the target network gets updated each time and updated accordingly to uh, according to the tra trajectory. Uh, coming to the Q coming to the Q network. The purpose of the Q, Q network is to estimate Q values for each possible action in a given state, and uh, the input is of uh, of the dimensional input of each Q table is uh, uh, input is a state, and output of the Q table Q, Q values is uh, the action. I mean, depending on the depending on the action, uh, which which action has most probability towards leading to the leading towards the end goal will will result in in that output coming to the architecture there are we use three hidden layers with 25 nodes um, uh, um, 20 25 nodes each and we use the relay activation function uh, and the normal weights to initialize it. final layer uh, is a dense layer with action action which is of action dimensions and um, action dimension with linear activities q values um, q values represent the uh, these are the these are the things in, in part of the uh, Q network, which is Q values represent the expected future rewards for the action. Reinforcement learning choose highest Q value action, update the Q value, repeat it until there is a converge, convergence, and uh, this convergence factor is also calculated at, at the at the end. Target network, uh, we uh, we periodically update target network after each iteration, uh, after each episode, and um, we the we match it with the periodic updates of the target network weights to match the Q network weights. Provide this provides the stability to the uh, target uh, target network and during the training, so that in case of uh, exploration or overestimating the this there is no uh, we we don't have to rely too much upon the other. <clears throat> Coming to the critic network in deep Kulani. I think the this is this is the um, this is the critic network where this is similar to the uh, Q, Q network uh, which uh, represents the entire critic network used used in the training and testing. Um, this this is co combination of the both the network, uh, Q networks, uh, which is it is similar to the uh, uh, Q, Q network, and uh, the architecture is also is also also the same, which is input as the state dimension and output is the action dimension. Coming to the training part, uh, we initialize the main and target neural network for the reinforcement learning. There are three. We see we see three layers: input layer, hidden layer, and the output layer. And here we represent that as one, but there are actually four. In for my scenario, now there are four actions. This is supposed to be four, and each each of the neuron represents one, each of the actions. And depending on the activation functions and all the rest of the functions, we give, we get the output. But and uh, uh, coming to that, we initialize this neural network for ra to random values, and which it is, it is then after that, uh, after every episode, depending on the output and depending on we observe the state, at a reward and the action of the of these the, uh, of the output and uh, of the outcome, and then we decide, uh, and then the neural network decides on what what is the probability of this is action at this particular state. We we gradually decrease the epsilon over time to gradually favor exploitation. Deep learning agent in click parking environment. <coughs> uh, in this in, in coming to our specific problem, we learn the the DQ algorithm, DQ learning algorithm. Uh, uh, objective is to learn optimal policy to navigate from the start to the goal, avoiding the cliffs. So our main goal is to avoid the uh, cliffs to follow. We select the action based on the Q values and epsilon greedy policy. Agents' uh, position is represented by coordinates. Uh, they represented by coordinates which moves up, down, and left and right. Deep Q learning algorithm learns optimal policy and values and updates Q values after each episode. We update Q values after each episode and after several, like in my scenario, after 2000 episodes, 
uh, it, 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 be, it became constant and uh, it, the agent was able to successfully hey, reach the goal state without any any issue and coming to the critic network uh, the, this is a part this is the complete uh, and target and the testing and training and uh, training network which we use in the com combination of testing and cat and reuse and these are the hyperparameters we fix for, for the specific example uh, the total number of episodes is the total episodes for uh, the dq learning algorithms in my case it was about 2000 and uh, gamma uh, is a discount factor which balances immediate and future rewards as uh, learning rate for q network uh, in a we, we we use the learning rate which is uh, which is an uh, optimizer function we in in our scenario we used adam um, and epsilon uh, epsilon greedy uh, greedy epsilon policy is a policy we used was to to determine the output output state of the action and the state dimension state dimension is the dimension of the states in my case it is 12 cross 4 that is 36 and um, action dimension is the number of possible actions where in my case is 4 which is up down right left and a minimum buffer size uh, uh, for minimum replay buffer size before updating the network every time we, we we clearly don't update it after every episode we we update the network after each it after a minimum buffer size we reached and uh, come and depending on the batches where the batches is the observations used for the update and the learning frequency in the network uh, the, uh, and, and network update during the frequency during training update frequency target uh, target network and the target net weight frequency model initialization and uh, <clears throat> we, uh, to train this model we initialize the en environment uh, and using init env function and uh, initialize the environment and the agent position with initialize env function this function we use to initialize the environment and the agent will start at the starting point of the uh, of the observation and we then construct the queue network and the target network using construct queue, queue network functions these both functions are uh, construct queue network is this um, we use it twice okay, so so <laughs> so we have the, we, they, they both have the same architecture and same initial weights and yes, and depending on the depending on the output of uh, they work they work with each other to update uh, so that we have a, a fall safe for each other and the optimizer we use this adam for updating the q networks wait we use our adam optimizer for the updating the q networks uh, and uh, coming to the q coming to the q network uh, this is a primary network which is in charge of the learning of q values it takes the current states as inputs and produces the q values for each uh, each potential action and the uh, agent selects an action based on the queue values predicted by this network uh, using the using, using the way the weights of the queue networks are regularly up updated to minimize the discrepancy hey, um, between the predicted queue values and the target queue values we update update the uh, this this queue network is used to uh, uh, Solve the issues between the Q network and the target network. And coming to the episodes, we have uh, tested this uh, code in various stages. Uh, the first one being for 500 episodes, and next one being 2000 episodes, and next uh, third one being 5000 episodes. <coughs> and I, I was able to reach co uh, co coverage in the starting uh, after uh, after 1000 episodes, and uh, so that I didn't I didn't feel it was necessary for the agent to. Or the or it was computationally uh, uh, needed or uh, for the uh, for the network to run for more than th more than thousand episodes. Uh, after fifteen hundred episodes, the coverage was completely uh, completely to the it was reaching the goal with maximum optimal output. Action selection and we select the uh, the agent select the action based on and greedy policy which is the with where, where the probability of which state has the highest number of uh, yielding the output is selected and and the computes the next we, we then uh, the agent then computes the next state reward and updates the position state observation in the replay buffer and uh, we then use the replay buffer to uh, decide on <coughs> if the if the action should be uh, eligible for the updation in the queue network Explain experience and replay and network updates. Replay buffer reaches the sufficient uh, replay buffer is used to, to keep track of the uh, game and how many how much time we have to play. 
and coming to the replay buffer we read the details are sufficient size for mini batch as, uh, when we update the queue network using mini mini batch of observations and then compute target queue value with the target network and we then use the target network to calculate mean square loss where, which is the loss function of the uh, predicted queue values and we com then compute gradients and update the queue, queue network this this is this then this would be repeated again and again over, over and over until we finally reach the place where the queue network is completely updated <coughs> balancing exploration and exploitation uh, we balance exploration by using the greedy policy agent shift focus from the exploration to exploration as queue network improves uh, because we can't we can't fully rely on exploration because the uh, if we reach the op optimal output and there's there's not it's not necessary for the uh, agent to be part of the thing. so we we therefore switch to target policy at the end of the training to demonstrate the learned behavior uh, coming to the results the results and analysis of the review agent learns optimal action selection policy the progressive improve, improvement in the performance over the episode and uh, we, we we saw that there is a progressive improvement in the analysis of the performance over the episodes and balancing exploration and exploitation with the epsilon greedy policy experience uh, yeah, we experience leap play and target networks and and uh, so we ensure stability in the networks such that if one or two, uh, one or two mistakes made by the agent won't end up in a complete disaster uh, coming to the uh, graphs the episodes and the step graph uh, and there, there are two graphs episodes and reward graph coming to the reward the at the starting the agent was falling off the cliff uh, so very often and so it was going to minus 100 each and every time and as as the number of episodes increased the r reward function reward started gaining the num number and uh, while coming to the steps we reduced the optimal number of steps taken by the agent and to, to, from uh, from the number of the steps in the first where the, where the uh, agent fall, fell off the cliff it was zero number of it was all, just one one step directly off the cliff and coming to the uh, at, at the end we we reached 13 steps to be precise uh, coming to the conclusion the research effectively demonstrated that uh, deep queue learning algorithm is success in solving cliff learning problem in simulated gym environment and uh, utilized off policy reinforcement learning approach uh, uh, for balancing exploration and uh, exploitation factor we implemented epsilon greedy policy experience replay target networks uh, to update robust solution in the convergence and we validated algorithms utility in complex decision making tasks and highlighted potential ap applicability across uh, various real world scenarios thank you